Hey, what's up YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. I'm a drum teacher in Auckland, New Zealand, and I'm going to talk all over your favorite drumming songs. If you enjoy my ramblings, be sure to subscribe to my podcast. That's the NZ Drummer Podcast. I talk to local players as well as the greatest drummers on the entire planet. You can also check out my website where I've got all kinds of goodies, such as free drum transcriptions for all you drummers out there. You can hit me on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Tinder, Grinder. Just joking, I don't have LinkedIn. And of course, if you want to, as the kids say, make it rain, you can go ahead and contribute to my Patreon. That was silly. Go and put those back in there. Okay, without further ado, because in the immortal words of Groovin' One, here we go, Meshuggah, a band I've never listened to ever in my entire life, and it's a song called Clockworks. Let's do it. I'll just have to say this whole vocab is foreign to me like I don't know any of this drumming vocab um I don't have any of it myself and I don't listen to this kind of music so this is awesome for the drummers out there the heads looks like he's got power stroke threes on the toms is that right I've never seen power stroke uh threes on the toms I have considered it on a floor tom to kill the resonance but yeah interesting yeah super super cool i've heard so much about this band i've heard so much about thomas hark hark is that how we say it um so this is great this is this is awesome education for me That's amazing. What is that? You don't got a transcription of that? Hit his left side hi hat for all, I don't think. Yep. Ow. Initial thoughts. I'm a little bit scared 
I'm a little bit inspired and I'm a little bit motivated to jump on the kit um, and try something different. This is so cool. This is so far out of my sphere of what I listen to and what I work on and what I practice. This is great. Thomas Hark. Does he do other stuff or is he just known for Meshuggah? Is it a bit of a Danny Carey situation where, you know, Danny Carey, tool? He does some other stuff, but mostly tool. Is it that kind of thing where Thomas Hark is known just for Meshuggah? Crazy music as well. Thirteen by six and a half or something like that. Two bass drums as opposed to the double kick pedal, right? To be honest, this is amazing. To maintain that intensity, and I don't know how often Mashuka gig if they gig in zero at the moment but normally if they're gigging a couple of times a week or more almost every night on tours and stuff trying to trying to play that every night live although a lot like our friends Danny Carey and John Bonham he looks to have a lot of headroom he looks totally in control he's not he's actually not slamming um in the idiot sense of you know trying to break your sticks and, and destroy die cast hoops and stuff. He looks like he's just playing with great technique and appropriate volume. He's hitting hard. Yeah, sure. But he's it's not going silly. Let's keep, let's keep it going. Wow. Yes. 
That is cool. Tribal. So that is why I've heard so much about Meshuggah and Thomas Hark. He's very good at drums, isn't he? I don't really know what to say. It's just amazing. As I said before, it's so far out of my comfort zone. That's what she said. How I would normally gig, what I normally listen to, what I'd normally work on. It's, I mean, it's, a, it's almost like a different instrument. The way these type of drummers approach things and and obviously their influences and what they're inspired by. I will say that having, I had Jamie St. Marat from Ulcerate on the podcast. Uh, I've had him on twice and it popped up this idea of one of the barriers to this type of music for someone like me who doesn't listen to it is for, for better or worse, it's probably the vocals. Yep, the guitars are heavy, the drumming's heavy, but the drumming's awesome. I'm a drummer and I really, I love it. It's intense, it's full on. Um, but often it's just the vocals, because the vocals, I guess, are trying to match that intensity. Um, and they've sort of, you know, they've gone to this, uh, do we call this screaming? I don't know. Growl, growl type approach to vocals. And it's just not what us civilians are used to um it's just not a sound of course it's something that could grow on you the more you listen to it i'm sure you'll start to just get used to it and then again like we said on the podcast a little bit like a drug you need a little bit more you start searching for something a bit more intense and just and it just keeps going i can totally get that so i would quite like to have another listen to another Mashuga song um because they were highly requested. They just kept popping up in the comments uh, from the last couple of vids. I will be getting back to Danny Carey, and I think I will be going back to John Bonham as well. I think, yeah, Thomas Hark. Hark, is that how we say it? Thomas Hark, Danny Carey, John Bonham. That could be the three drummers that I really dig into and check out for the next good while. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video. I love you all. The comments are amazing. The community is amazing and lots of great info. The damn guy who made up, I, all I, I mentioned something about that xylophone marimba thing behind Danny Carey in the last video. The guy who made it commented and talked about it. I mean, what? What the hell? So, yeah, it's just been really cool. And be sure to subscribe, um, like the video, all that good stuff. And of course, you want to make it rain on the Patreon. And I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.